whole blood transfusions, a paradigm shift. Saline solution and blood component therapy have served as the primary intervention for severe hemorrhage and trauma patients for multiple decades, establishing itself as the conventional treatment protocol in emergency medicine. Clinical evidence demonstrates the superior efficacy of whole blood transfusions compared to traditional resuscitation methods. This transition in treatment approach represents a significant advancement in trauma care protocols. Physiological Benefits Whole blood transfusions deliver comprehensive hematological components, including coagulation factors and RBCs. These components facilitate hemostasis and optimize oxygen delivery to tissues, supporting physiological homeostasis during acute blood loss. Enhanced Recovery Clinical trials document increased survival rates among patients receiving whole blood transfusions. Statistical data demonstrates improved patient outcomes across multiple trauma indicators compared to traditional fluid resuscitation methods. Increased survival rates. Metropolitan centers implementing whole blood protocols, including San Antonio and New Orleans, report decreased mortality rates in their trauma populations. These outcomes correlate directly with the implementation of whole blood transfusion protocols. Improved quality of life. Patient follow-up data indicates enhanced long-term recovery trajectories and improved functional outcomes in individuals who receive whole blood transfusions during initial trauma care. Logistical hurdles. Implementation of whole blood programs requires coordinated blood product management systems, appropriate storage facilities, and efficient distribution networks. These operational requirements present specific challenges to healthcare systems. Training and education. Healthcare providers require comprehensive instruction in whole blood administration protocols, including proper handling procedures administration techniques, and monitoring parameters. Advocacy and policy change. Successful implementation of whole blood programs depends on community engagement, strategic partnerships, and regulatory adaptations. These elements support the broader adoption of whole blood transfusion protocols. Continued research. Current studies focus on optimizing transfusion protocols and addressing technical limitations, particularly regarding platelet viability periods. This research aims to refine existing protocols and expand application parameters. Standardized guidelines. The development of evidence-based protocols facilitates consistent implementation of whole blood transfusion programs across healthcare systems promoting uniform standards of care. A brighter future. Ongoing technological and methodological advances in whole blood transfusion protocols continue to improve trauma care outcomes, indicating positive trajectories for future developments. The power of whole blood. Whole blood transfusions present an evidence-based intervention for improving trauma patient outcomes. Healthcare systems benefit from active blood donation programs, robust blood banking infrastructure, and continuous medical education regarding trauma care advances. Low titer group O whole blood. Low titer group O whole blood consists of cold stored, one to six degrees Celsius. Group O whole blood with anti-A or B titers at or below 1 to 200. Each unit contains 500 milliliters of blood with red blood cells, plasma, and platelets. The blood undergoes look reduction through platelet sparing filtration and maintains a 21-day shelf life when stored at 1 to 6 degrees Celsius. Donors must be aspirin-free to mitigate transfusion-related acute lung injury risk. Clinical Applications The primary indication for low titer group O whole blood is massive hemorrhage requiring rapid transfusion, specifically targeting trauma patients who meet criteria for massive transfusion protocol activation. 
Low titer Grupo whole blood replaces the conventional 1 to 1 to 1 ratio of red blood cells to plasma to platelets. Most institutions allow administration of 4 to 8 units before transitioning to component therapy. The product serves well in pre-hospital settings, supporting emergency medical services and air medical services with appropriate protocols. Clinical Efficacy Cold stored platelets in low titer group O whole blood demonstrate enhanced hemostatic function. The product maintains stable fibrinogen levels throughout its storage period and preserves clotting capacity despite a 15 to 30% decline in coagulation factors. Clinical data indicates low titer group O whole blood performs non inferiorly to component therapy in massive bleeding scenarios. Studies report reduced ventilator days in pediatric populations and decreased total blood product utilization. Special considerations. Rhesus D management requires attention, with a calculated alloimmunization risk of approximately 21% in rhesus negative recipients. Protocols specify rhesus immunoglobulin prophylaxis for females of childbearing potential necessitating risk-benefit assessment for rhesus-positive low titer group O whole blood use. Regarding ABO compatibility, administration of four or more units to non-group O recipients has demonstrated safety. Early type and screen facilitates transition to type-specific products. Multiple unit administration commonly results in mixed field reactions. Implementation strategies. Inventory management incorporates a five-day fresh shipping policy with scheduled ordering. Institutions can minimize waste through expanded clinical applications and red blood cell recovery from expired units. Quality programs monitor wastage rates, document clinical outcomes, verify compliance with institutional protocols, and assess staff competency. Future Directions Current clinical trials include massive transfusion in children too, focusing on pediatric massive transfusion and trauma resuscitation with group O whole blood, examining comparative effectiveness. Research priorities encompass extended storage validation, platelet function optimization, cost-effectiveness analysis, and pre-hospital outcomes assessment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.